guys and welcome back to my latest tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at some truly beautiful artworks that I've created using etching technique, um, which I've been playing around for a couple of days. And you know what? I'm getting some very, very beautiful results. So we're going to have a look at some of my favorite artworks and also the prompt that I have been using. Uh, now we're also going to be looking at weights because these prompts do need some weights, but I will try and explain why, how I'm sort of like dividing my prompt into tokens and how I assign weights to each one. So guys, if you're ready to create some beautiful artworks, let's get started. Okay guys, so first things first, let's just see what kind of images we can create with the prompts that we're going to be covering today. Yes, yeah, so we're going to look at some lighthouses, uh, you can do in a black and white, but we also look at uh, how to add colors like to these ones. Um, so look at these ships, sailing ships, sailing boats, should I say. Yeah, so we're going to be taking a look at all this. So let's get started. Now, first things first, I've actually asked ChatGPT what is etching technique. So etching is a printmaking technique that dates back to the Middle Ages, although it became Particularly popular during the resonance period, it involves creating intricate designs on a metal plate, traditionally made of copper, using a process of corrosive action. Okay, guys, you know, I don't know about you, but I love, 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 you know, like textured artwork. And even here, you can see that I did some um, burnt shellac artwork. Look at it, you know, you can almost feel the texture of these images, but that's for another tutorial. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I want to start with my uh, boats, sailboats. So this is the first um, set of four images that I've created. Look at how gorgeous these are. I've obviously used gold and silver hues. So let's see a prompt. Large sailboat of detailed 3D emboss etching art, and I assigned the weight 50. Golden and silver, 8K resolution, dark night scene with glowing moon, raining and stars, and met meticulous inking, which I again assigned 50, crisp outlines and AR 16 of 9, and I put stylized to 50. So I just don't want to, I just don't want to have it too beautiful. So this is the imageries, images that I got, quite nice. I particularly like this one. Okay, let's see what I did then. So then I wanted to sort of like try and see if I increase the weight because here in these images, my boat is a little bit far away. Now I wanted to bring it a little bit closer. Guys, I am not a big fan of, of, um, of weights. I have to say I'm the first person to put my hands up, but they do help us sort of like move the image in a direction that we want. So here I added 150. Um, I assign 150 weight to my large sailboat. Guys, so when you look at your prompt, you know, like, especially you should start with waiting with a very, very simple prompt where we can sort of like divide our prompt to parts and then we can sort of like decide what we want the focus on. So here, obviously, the focus is on large sailboat, which I assign 150 weight to. Then I sort of like, um, you know, to my etching technique, I assign 100, 100. Golden and silver, 8K resolution, dark night scene with glowing moon, and then meticulous inking 50. So, you know, the, the least uh, importance I assign to meticulous inking. So what we have here, I mean, you know, this is quite unimpressive, this one. So what changed? Uh, basically, here I sort of like, used two same weights but here i sort of you know i, I think i went overboard with um on the large sailboat you know the weights on the on the sailboat um and i wasn't getting the results that i wanted so i needed to go back to my uh original prompt and see what changes i can do guys and when we are working with weights you know it's very important to understand that it's a learning process you know they will um even though we are trying to sort of like push the image in a way that uh, resonates with us we sometimes do get some very strange results so be prepared for it be prepared to edit it and basically what we're looking for with our images and waiting and any other modifiers that we will be using um you know we are we are looking for that tipping point 
And that means that the, the image resonates with us, with our feelings, with our sort of aesthetics. Yeah. So it really fully resonates with us. So that is what we are looking for. Okay, guys. So this is the original. Then this is um, when I sort of increase the weights to very, very large amount, guys. So I like to use weights in 25. So 25, 50, 75, 100, and so on. And I also always try to sort of like make sure that they are quite evenly distributed. Yeah. Depending on what I want, um, what I want highlighted. So here my board is quite big, as you can see, because I assign a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of value to it. In my next one, I sort of, uh, <laughs> these are quite funky images that I got and I haven't used any modifiers. So again, you know, it gives you something something new something strange but that's not what i was looking for so here i added uh, 50 so from 150 i went to 50 assigned weights <clears throat> and then i sort of did 100 to my etching which was the same as here what else did i change okay and then i just took golden and silver so that was 75 so that's why there's a little bit more of my gold gold and silver in this one there's not much in here Guys, so you can see that how you can actually really influence your image. But then I really needed to go back to basics and <laughs> see, because obviously these images were definitely not going towards my tipping point. So I went back to this. Now, this is more of what I'm talking about. These are more my style. You can really see the technique here wonderfully. So what I did, large cell board, I assigned weight 75. Yes, yeah? so I increased from 50, but decreased from 150. And then I did, um, I think I pretty much kept everything. Okay, so here the etching art, I assigned 100 and here I went down to 50. And I also kept 50 here, yeah? <clears throat> so I sort of like had two same weights, but I mean, the images are far more towards my um, tipping point. What I would also perhaps do here, I would probably um, assign more weight to golden and silver. Let's see what would happen if I did that? I think I did that. Okay. So here I have large sailboat 75 and I've got some beautiful, beautiful colors in this one. Um, again, some beautiful artworks, not really that much of a gold. Um, so let's see what would happen if we assign, uh, assign weight to, to our gold, uh, to our gold and silver. So let's do that. Just going to also show you the process. Okay, so large sailboat. So we've got 75 of detailed 3D emboss etching. That's 50 uh, golden and silver. I'm just going to assign. I just don't want to go overboard again. Have I got, um, because if I do 100, it's going to be, you know, quite overbearing because it's just going to be more than everything else. Guys, by the way, <laughs> you know, I, this is just what I'm learning. You know, it doesn't mean that this is the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do 75 as well, you know, and see what happens. Guys, make sure that, you know, you don't have any space where you assigned weights, but there's a space uh, before the next token. So I like to sort of like separate, as I mentioned, you know, I sort of like separate my images into tokens. So each one means something, each one, each one represents either, uh, you know, like a weather or a nature or things that we have in it like large boats so it, it helps to think about it that way okay and let's see what happens so i'm still keeping the stylized quite low because obviously this is a very old technique <laughs> we don't have we don't want to have it too beautiful basically stylized function guys uh controls how beautiful our images are and look at these you know like oh my goodness these are just gorgeous look at these artworks and how crisp they are as well and I love the colors in this. Oh, look at this one. While we're waiting for, um, you know, to see that our gold and silver hues a little bit. Oh my God, well, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Guys, you know what? I would love, love, love to see what you create. Let me know in the comments how you found this prompt. We will also take a look at some lighthouses with this technique. But I'm just, I just can't get over how beautiful these are, right? you know, and just by playing with some weights and, you know, like adjusting. Um, oh, look at this as well. So here we've got actually quite a lot of gold down here, here. This is very silvery, beautiful. 
Um, but I don't think I have actually emphasized gold and silver. No, I didn't. Okay, so let's see what we get in our, oh, I love these. Actually, I didn't see these. <laughs> these are gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, so let's see if we have it done now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so as you can see, I did quite a lot. Okay, so guys, in this one, we actually, you know, emphasize gold and silver to 75. So let's see if we have more of a gold and silver. Well, we definitely have more of a gold um very silvery very beautiful let's see if you rerun it again yeah you know you may have noticed guys that the more you rerun the the better the images get um okay guys so what i'll do i'll pause this tutorial and then we'll get back to when it's done and also we'll look at the lighthouses guys and our artwork had now been regenerated and i've actually re-rolled it three times so that you can see and I can say that I definitely, definitely hit my tipping point. I mean, look at these, right? You know, they're just gorgeous. You know, it doesn't need any more modifiers. Uh, modifiers are again, something that, um, you know, we will learn about in the next, um, next few tutorials, but they also change the way the image feels and resonates with us. Yeah. So all we are really doing is looking for that tipping point when we are hundred percent happy with our image. Um, and, you know, we, we achieve that tipping point by sort of re-rolling our images, playing with weights, modifiers, and also some math algorithms if, if we want. Okay, so there's plenty of gold and silver hues in my images. I mean, these are the ones that we've been waiting for. I mean, look how gorgeous this one is, very silvery. This is very golden. I mean, my ship is lovely in front. The focus is on the, on the ship. Uh, what else is the focus on? Uh, yeah, so the 75 weight is on the ship, then we have 50 on the etching, and then 50 on the meticulous inking as well, yeah. Um, oh, just, you know, so number one is very beautiful, number three, yeah. Guys, so yes, basically what we are trying to achieve with our weights is sort of like uh, push the image into the, the direction that we want. And I really hope that you enjoy this prompt. You're going to try it and let me know in the comments um, what sort of results you got. Did you try it with something else? So let me know. I would be so happy to see your artworks as well. Okay, guys. So now we're going to see uh, my lighthouses. So here I started, well, let's take a look at it first. So this is again etching method. And what I was trying to achieve here was the light, the rays, actually coming out of the lighthouse because here you can see they're a little bit next to it but in the other images you know like it's okay so let's see what we could do so the first prompt was black and silver etching of a lighthouse and rocks it's light in the style of gold rays <clears throat> yes yeah, so the light of a lighthouse and uh, aspect ratio 3.2 and then um obviously you know i started waiting so black and silver etching of a lighthouse style of god race so i actually assigned 250 to the race stars 50 realistic attention to detail <clears throat> 50 and then asymmetrical framing so again 50 so um yeah there's there's quite a few of the same uh weights and let's see the results so this one this one this one this one is quite funny but I think I'm sort of like getting that sort of like race coming out of the lighthouse. I mean, what do you think? It's, it's still not perfect. It's still not my tipping point. So let's see the next one. Yeah. So we've got here, let's, let's take a look at it closely. I mean, these were black and white, but of course, guys, you can actually, you know, add colors to it. Look how beautiful, right? You know, like, it's still like, you can't really tell where the light is coming from, but yeah. I guess with the technique and everything, well, this is the light isn't really where we want it. Just seems a little bit off this one. Yeah. So let's see if I've actually achieved it in the next couple of runs. So this is perfect, isn't it? This is quite nice. I quite like this one. Let's see the prompt for this one. Also, it's this, it's still the same prompt. Yeah. So I sort of like did the raise 250 and then the rest 50. And then Again, guys, what we are looking for is that tipping point, right? When we are very, very happy with the prompt. 
We've got some people here as well. Again, the light is a little bit questionable. Is it coming from the lighthouse? Is it coming from behind? Okay, so here I've I've gone back to no weights. Uh, and it's a little bit terrible. <laughs> you can see that, you know, like the weights are so important, can't you? But literally none of my lights are coming out of the lighthouse. So here what I did, um, so I again, you know, like kept the weights of the race to 250 and the rest. So basically the other prompt uh, revisited. So I quite like number one. Uh, number four is also very nice. Number three, mm, 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 but you can actually see the etching technique in these, I think, uh, very well that it's black and white. So let's sort of like take a closer look on the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit playing around with the, uh, with the weights. Guys, so this is the second one. If we wanted to bring in some colors, we could just basically borrow these colors, you know, golden and silver. You know for some actually let's let's see if we can um we can rerun it in the you know with the golden and silver what, what would happen so i'm just going to rerun this prompt i'm just going to add golden and silver yeah um and have i got weights okay so i've got weights 75 so that should be quite a quite a quite a big focus on those make sure that guys you know you've got those spaces and submit and I'm just going to jump to present. And I'm just going to wait for my uh, for my lighthouse. Guys, but you can see, you know, like, what a beautiful technique this is, right? You know, I hope you agree with me. Uh, again, we're going to be waiting a little bit for this, but it's going to be worth it. And, um, you know, again, guys, I really would love to see how you're doing, you know, please pop it in the comments, how you're finding these kind of tutorials. Um, and how are you finding waiting in your own work? You know, are you using the weights or what is it that you're using? What works for you? So please share with me so that I actually can learn as well. Okay. So we've got these, uh, okay. So we haven't really got the, um, gold and silver here. Let's see why. So black and silver etching of a lighthouse. So we haven't, okay. Okay. So we've got here black and silver. So let me take that off black and silver. Um, and I'm just going to do gold and silver instead. So I'm just going to pop that in here. Here. So I'm just going to pop that here and see what happens. Okay. So, guys, again, those images, I mean, look at them, right? Okay, we've got them here as well. I mean, this is this is probably one of my favorites. Yeah, just gorgeous. Mm. And it's called etching technique. And you know, just follow the prompts that we've been using. That's beautiful. Right, okay, so let's see how we're doing here. Are we getting any sort of like coloring gold and silver? We should do, because actually we put it, uh, we weighted it at 75. So, <sighs> Okay, so we're sort of like getting there with some of them. You know, this one is sort of like more golden. Guys, again, so we will rerun and rerun until we are happy, until we find that tipping point. You know, I don't want to keep you here too long. But this one's sort of like getting getting closer to, to that golden uh, silver. But yeah, guys, so I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I am having so much fun playing around with these techniques and learning about weights. Yes, it can be frustrating sometimes, but, you know, the more you try, the better you are getting at it. And, uh, you know, the, the, the learning is very satisfactory. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.